missing kindergarten school teacher and heiress to hardware fortune, Eliza Fletcher. Body found a tragic conclusion. I'm Jazz Berganzo, and this is What's Next. Hey guys, Jazz Berganzo here, another episode of What's Next, your daily dose. Hope you're having a good Thursday. Um, this is a story that um, hasn't gotten much press outside of a few um, mainstream. Uh, New York Post, uh, Tucker Carlson, uh, Breitbart, of, and a number of conservative um, venues. It's, um, it's truly tragic. Uh, this is a story of Eliza Fletcher, uh, kindergarten school teacher and heiress to a hardware fortune. Uh, she was deemed missing and um, unfortunately, she's been found. Take a look. This comes out of Breitbart. Police, body of missing heiress, teacher Eliza Fletcher found, suspect charged with murder. And that is her there. The body of heiress and kindergarten teacher Eliza Fletcher, 34, was discovered on Tuesday morning, according to Memphis Police Department. The recent discovery comes after Sunday's arrest of suspicion of a suspect in connection with the case whose charges have been upgraded to first-degree murder. A body was discovered at 5.07 p.m. on Monday in the 1600 block of Victor, approximately seven and a half miles away from where she was abducted at the University of Memphis campus. University of Memphis campus, excuse me, campus. Police confirmed Fletcher was the deceased victim at 6.49 a.m. on Tuesday. And that was the initial uh, tweet that um, the Memphis Police Department put out. <clears throat> the investigation into the abduction of Eliza Fletcher is still active and ongoing. Investigators are continuing to search and following all leads. No arrests have been made uh, relative to the case. Any information, please call Crime Stoppers. And then, of course, it was updated. The deceased victim was located at the 1600 block of Victor and has been identified at 34-year-old Eliza Fletcher. Additional charges for 38-year-old Cleotha Abston have been added for, for first-degree murder and first-degree murder in perpetration of kidnapping. Police announced on Tuesday that Cleotha Abston, 38, has been charged with first-degree murder and first-degree uh, murder in preparation in perpetration of kidnapping in addition to his kidnapping and tampering with evidence charges on Monday in connection with Fletcher's abduction. Abson was arrested on Sunday evening after police discovered a pair of champion slide sandals in the vicinity where Fletcher was abducted and had DNA matched the 38-year-old suspect, NBC News initially reported, citing the arrest affidavit. He was reportedly seen wearing them the night before the abduction. He was wearing them. During the investigation to Abson, his brother, Mario, was arrested and charged with drug and firearms offenses, according to police. However, he is not to be believed to be involved in the investigation. After his arrest, Epstein did not reveal the location of victim. Uh, Fox 13 Memphis reported via the affidavit. Police said Fletcher was abducted on Friday morning at approximately 4.20 a.m. by an individual in a dark color SUV, JMC Terrain, in which he was jogging at the University of Memphis campus, 3800 block of Central Avenue. Police said the 34-year-old female was approached by the victim and forced into the vehicle. According to the affidavit, Cleo Epstein was seen by witnesses allegedly cleaning a dark color GMC Terrain with floor cleaner hours after Fletcher had been abducted. And of course, that is her. That's where she was last seen. Of course, the last known clip of her. The photos of the suspect vehicle. The 38-year-old is expected to appear on court on Tuesday. I'm sorry, appeared, excuse me, this past Tuesday. Before her tragic death, Fletcher was married to husband Richie and had two young children, according to the Daily Mail. Along with being a kindergarten teacher, she was the granddaughter of Joseph Orgill III, the founder of Orgill Incorporated, a billion-dollar hardware company. Um, I caught wind of this story uh, a couple of days ago on Tucker. And Tucker went into her history that um, she left Memphis, started her career, uh, family, and decided to come back to Memphis because that's where she was born and raised. And he talked about the situation, not just in Memphis regarding crime, but of course, crime across the country and how no longer because of places that you shouldn't go, that you should not go back to because 
of poss possible endangerment. Um, and sadly, this was one of those. Um, like I said, I don't know much about her other than what I watched on Tucker and uh, a couple of other news outlets. But um, this is tragic. But what I do know is that a number of those who Twittered out regarding this story came at it from a different point of view or a different angle. They looked at it as why, and this is not all of them, this is just some of them, that why are, you know, why are we paying so much attention to this? You know, she was white, she was an heiress. Why are we, why are we paying attention to this where there's other situations and other things that should be more notable and, uh, and should be more paid attention to. And, um, to one aspect, I agree. You're right. The fact of the matter is there are tragedies that go on this country every single day that are not reported. There are a number of crimes, shootings that go on this country every single day that are not reported. Over 60 people were shot and a dozen killed during the Labor Day weekend in Chicago. Why isn't that reported? Why? Because police are not involved? Because white police were not involved? Because a white person was not involved? Or did it just happen to be because it's black on black crime and that's the status quo and that's normal? See? Works both ways. Um, but anywho, this is tragic. The loss of one human life is tragic. Doesn't matter what color. Doesn't matter what ethnicity, doesn't matter if you're gay or straight, doesn't matter. One loss is too many. And um, for their family, they're suffering. They're grieving right now. And we should pay them that respect and not chastise them because, oh, well, this person happens to be a certain color and, and a certain, uh, you know, grade or what have you, class or status or, 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 or privilege. Let's put it that way. Um, I think it's stupid. It's ignorant. Makes you sound very uneducated. Makes you sound like a, a moron. But um, my prayers go out to the family. And um, wow. And I could address the piece of shit who did this. But there's a special place in hell for him. And with that being said, I'm Josh Bragonzo. This is what's next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it. Share it. Subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.